Okay, what's up, YouTube? You know what it is. It is Spacey AI one more time. Remember to leave a like, remember to share, remember to subscribe. So I got another interesting one for you. So I want to compare Clean 1.0 to Clean 1.5. And I think this one is going to be pretty amazing. Clean 1.5, as you guys should know, just recently got released. And it is the upgraded version, the latest version of Clean the upgraded version to 1.0. So it is supposed to be a lot better in terms of prompt adherence as well as quality. So I'm going to be kind of comparing some of the prompts that I did in previous videos to the, the same prompts in 1.5. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of videos here generated. So for Clean 1.0, we had this prompt. So teenager skateboarding down the busy street with loose hair clothing and long hair flowing in the wind in the background, blur cars and pedestrians emphasize speed and motion. So this was the generation by Kling 1.0. And this was not a bad generation, to be honest. It was actually pretty coherent. The pedestrians and people other than the skater, obviously there's a lot of weird stuff going on, but really it, it, it's pretty good. It, it did a pretty good job if you're just focusing on the skater. 1.5 generated this. So essentially we have the skater skating down the highway, pedestrians in the background, blurred cars and pedestrians emphasize speed and motion. So a little bit better at the prompt adherence, the pedestrians are, are blurred, the cars are blurred and the speed of the skateboard or the skateboarder is pretty fast and there's nothing wrong with this. I think it, it pretty much gets the problem for the most part. It's an okay generation. So that's definitely better than the previous one. Another generation that I thought that Kling did not get right with 1.0 was this one. This generation was completely off. This generation was completely off. As you guys can see, the woman ended up morphing into something else and ended up trying to run the other way with her head looking towards this direction, which was just crazy. Makes no sense whatsoever. The monster was completely distorted or whatever. Now this same image to video generation was done on 1.5. If you guys see this one, obviously this is a lot better. Now there's a lot more consistency with the monster running towards the woman. And you know, the woman is pretty consistent. There's a little bit of morphing going on with her hands right here, but she's moving away from the monster as expected. And she looks scared and everything. And it keeps the original image, which is this, keeps that original image to what you would expect. So that is pretty good right there. Now, this is another generation. So a day in the life of a small town baker waking up from an early morning, needing to dough, baking bread and greeting loyal customers with a smile. So this was the original generation by Kling 1.0. And then if we go to 1.5, and now, as you can see, this is the generation by Kling 1.5. As you can see, it does do a cutaway. So it puts two scenes in one in the five second generation, but this is a lot more high quality and it definitely looks better for sure. So that's pretty good. Now, another generation that I really like is the kid eating the cheeseburger. Now I did do this in 1.0 and I said, he sits around a coffee in a coffee shop eating a cheeseburger. Now, obviously that kind of tripped up the AI because the AI is thinking, well, you wouldn't be eating a cheeseburger in a coffee shop. You'd probably be eating some kind of bun or something else, a uh, croissant or something like that. I don't know what this is, but essentially it didn't create a cheeseburger, it created something else, but he did, he did eat that, whatever he's eating, right? That bread or whatever, it was pretty consistent and it makes sense. It looks pretty good. Now I use that same prompt for 1.5 to see if we actually do a better job. And it really did a better job. So this is the, this is the boy eating the cheeseburger now in the coffee shop. So 
as you can see, he's biting down on a cheeseburger and you can actually see the cheeseburger getting bent. And this is an actual cheeseburger. This is not a croissant. This is not some kind of bread. This is an actual cheeseburger. And you, see, you can see it's pretty consistent, high quality generation. So this is pretty good. That's one of the generations I like to create eating food. And that did a pretty good job at that. Okay, so this is another generation. So a futuristic cityscape at night where neon lights flicker and drones fly overhead. A lone detective walks through the rain-soaked streets uncovering conspiracy. As you can see, there's some drones over here. But the drones, they disappear and reappear. And it's not the greatest generation. This doesn't necessarily look like a detective. Looks like someone walking, somebody that's dressed in the theme of this video, but not an actual detective. So if we go over to claim 1.5, we actually see a similar generation, but you actually have a detective. So as you can see, this is an actual detective. And yes, the drones disappear, reappear, and there's some weird stuff going on with the cars and stuff like that. Um, not the greatest generation, but you can see that these are drones and it is a better generation overall, more consistent than the previous generation. Now, this is another interesting one. So a bustling 16th century marketplace in a European town where merchants sell spices, fabrics, and exotic goods. Musicians play traditional instruments in the background. So this was the generation we got, just some random stuff going on, not the greatest. But we did get another generation here, and though it kind of fits the theme a bit more of the medieval style, has a little bit more of a cinematic feel, that people are not really doing much. I think the previous generation by Kling 1.0. So this is the 1.0 generation, as you can see up here, 1.0 generation. This was pretty good, but 1.5, you know, is not as good in my opinion, at least the first go around, people are not moving or doing anything, which is a little bit weird. So that was a step back actually from the previous one. So this one is a community coming together to build a playground in a rundown neighborhood. So this was what 1.0 generated, Cling 1.0. And yeah, I mean, this is what we have right here. A lot of morphing going on, you know, people not really moving coherently, but it does show the image of houses and, and this actual rundown neighborhood and people actually around. So if we go over to 1.5 generation, it does a more of a drone shot. So it's a really interesting thing. It's doing the drone shot right here. There's more people in the scene. Some people are moving okay, I guess, but some people are just not moving accurately. Most people are not really moving accurately, but it does have the fact that it's a rundown neighborhood and people are around and helping and doing things. So I'd say this generation is a little bit better, not the greatest, but definitely better than the previous one. And then finally, we have this generation. So. The prompt says, inside a high-tech laboratory, a scientist works on a sentient AI robot. The robot gains consciousness and starts learning about human emotion. So this was the original generation from Kling 1.0. Then with 1.5, we have this generation. And obviously you can see the robot is more of a humanoid robot. And you actually see a little bit more detail, definitely more high quality. So I'd say this generation is certainly better. So that's pretty much all the comparisons I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think about Kling 1.5. You guys can check it out. Link is in the description. You guys can go ahead and start using this. It's no different in terms of the setup from Kling 1.0. It's just that you have better, more high quality generations. They do not have camera movement as yet, but that is slated to be there in the future. So that's pretty cool. You guys can definitely start playing around with this, whether it be image to video, text to video. Text to video was actually really good. A lot of these examples I gave were text to video examples. So they actually came out pretty good. So let me know what you guys think about this and have a great day. Pacey AI signing out. Peace.